Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video I am going to show you how to make 3D models from 2D drawings. So this video is especially for the people or the kids who are new to Fusion 360. So let's get started without wasting any time. So first of all before making anything we have to study the 2D drawing. So here is I don't know what part is this but we are going to make the front profile and then we are going to make it extrude up to 52 and then at and the last we are going to make this and the rib on the other side. So first of all let's go to select a sketch and choose any plane you want and click OK. Now we will start by making this semicircle and then this T shape like structure. So as you guys can see the diameter of the inner circle is uh, the radius is 15 and 15 plus 8 that is 23 uh, the radius of uh, the outer circle is uh, 23 so let's get started by doing that so the shortcut for circle is C uh, from the origin draw circle and give it a radius the dia the radius 15 and that means the dia is 30 and press ok now again press c and make a circle like that for dimension click d select the inner circle and the outer circle and the outer circle and as as you guys can see the distance between the inner and outer is given 8 so we will make this 8 mm and press ok now the next step is to make this T like structure so as you guys can see from the center to the bottom uh, to the bottom is 40 and there's a rectangular profile of 75 by 9 in the bottom so for that we need to draw a symmetrical line for construction line you switch on the construction for sketch templates and draw a construction line at the center escape now we will draw uh, this rectangular profile of 75 by 9 so for that just draw a rectangle of any dimension press D for dimension give the dimension as 9 mm and this one as 75 now we have to make this symmetrical across this uh, construction line that we have just created so for that you can go to constraint and there you can find the symmetry or you can just uh, click on this and make it shoot shortcut to toolbar so click on this click this line this line and this and the line which you wanted it to be symmetrical with and press ok let me just click this line this line and this one so you can see that it's quite symmetrical with the one now we have been, now we have to make the distance from this rectangle to the center of the circle as 40 mm so press t for dimension place the center of the circle and this line and the center of the circle and make it 40 now the only thing left is to make join these goes to with this 9 mm thick rib so for that what you have to do is so let's press L for line, draw a line from here to here, press D for dimension and from here to here, give it dimension of, uh, the total thickness is 9, so from the center it would be 4.5 and press OK. Now press T to trim excess line that we don't need. Now we are going to make this mirror, press this line and the mirror line will be the construction line we have drawn earlier, and press ok. Now press again press T for trim or you can just select the trim from here, there's an option called you know the trim or you it's in the actually it's in the modify and this it is the tree for trim, trim the excess line that we don't need it and we are done just and also we have to make this circular profile semicircular so for that just draw the line from the origin so that which divides this into half you can either trim this or without trimming it would also work so just 
trim the part that is not needed and click on finish sketch rotate the camera now we have to extrude it up to a distance of 52 mm click on extrude the distance will be minus 52 select new component and press ok now the next step is to make the rib remember the rib is not in the uh, the rib is in the center so the distance given is 22 from the back side so what we have to do is we have to create a plane uh, from the back side that 22 mm from the back side so for that just go on to the construction and offset plane select the back side and offset it up to a distance of minus 22 and press ok now click on select create a sketch and select on this now you can just see the it's a simple rib of 8 mm thickness which is joining the bottom the top face of the rectangle and the top face of the semi spherical face so for that click L for line and draw any line like this and just press K now we have to coincident with this point and this point click on coincident constraint select this point and this point then again select this point and this point simply finish the sketch you don't have to make the entire profile for this an option to make rib so for that go to create select on rib select this line and uh, the thickness option will be one the thickness option will be a one direction and the thickness would be 8 mm so for that just make it to minus 8 you can actually flip the direction if you want to accordingly and press ok now for the other side what we have to do is just uh, let me just switch on the planes which we have created in the origin yeah here's the plane so what we have to do is we have to mirror this rib to the other side for that go to create click on mirror and it will ask you about the object the object will be the rib we have just created from the timeline and the mirror plane will be this one and press ok now this is how our 3d got completed so thank you hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel for continuous updates on fusion 360 thank you and have a nice day